Hello YouTube, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on um, another programming language. Uh, so this, this will be my second series of programming tutorials. And this programming language we're doing today is called Small Basic. Um, Small Basic is made by Microsoft, and, it's, and it was a programming language made for um, beginners. Um, so, and this, this is the first episode, so, so we're going to be going on how to install and uh, write a first program, probably a Hello World one. Just to go with, with the tradition. So, um, first of all, type into Google Small Basic. Um, you can go to smallbasic.com, but I recommend just going to Small Basic, typing that into Google. And clicking the first one Microsoft Small Basic, smallbasic.com. Click it, and we get this Microsoft Small Basic. Welcome to the incredible world of programming. And this is extremely s simple to do. You press the download button here, press download. The installation file will download, you run the installation file, let it install, and bam, you're done. You will then have Small Basic um, probably in your start menu. So after you've done that, you can close off your internet browser and install this. But I'm, I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it here. So there we go. After you've installed it and you get the icon, you're going to open it up and we get a lovely splash screen at the beginning. Wait for that to load, and we get a small basic window, which is quite small to be honest. <laughs> so it makes the window bigger if you want. Alright, so first thing you want to do is just save it. Because you want to see this window. And we're gonna be saving we're gonna be making a little Hello World program, so I don't know, just call it Hello World. Save it to your desktop. And now let's get writing our program. Okay, so the first thing to do to begin writing your program is we want to display Hello World on the screen. And how we do that is we say text window window um, so this is the object we want to use so a text window dot and we want to write a line to the text window we then do open brackets open and close brackets and open and closed um, quotation marks inside the quotations um, you can write whatever you want to um, have on the screen so I'm just going to write hello world or YouTube. There we go. And there you have your first program. Done. So save it. And this is the easiest way to run it. You press F5 or you click the run button. And it will run your little program. So there you go. You've got your own program done. Hello world. Or YouTube. Press new key to continue. And it will end the program. Now I will. Now I was going to say um, this is the end of the tutorial, but it's been way too short. So I'll teach you how to do something else. Give yourself a few lines, and type text window. Um, so that's the object, and then and then we're going to do title because we want to set a title for the window. Then we're going to do space equals space. Open quotation marks, and we're going to set a title. So it'll be Hi, programming. Next time we click run, it will say hi programming at the top. Now isn't that cool? Now with Small Basic, you can uh, open previous files. You can import files from the web. So you can just, you can if you go to smallbasic.com, we can import a project which somebody else has made, or we can publish our own project to Small Basic. Um, we've we can graduate this to a uh, Visual Studio project, but if you're gonna, but if you're a beginner, I I just recommend doing this in Small Basic. Small Basic isn't just for creating boring text applications like this. You can create games and lots of cool things. So that's the end of this tutorial. YouTube, I will be back next time.